So what I wanted to show here was the uh, what what happens most mornings is the seven o'clock reversal on the equities. Uh, this doesn't happen every day, but most days you get right around seven o'clock. I don't know what it is. It's got to be computerized trading or something. That, uh, for instance, here you see that we had uh, on the Russell. This was the short trades that had set up uh, right after the open. Here's the open right here, six thirty Pacific. Had the short trade set up. Same with six uh, EMD over here. See the short trade set up, and here's seven o'clock. Here's the reversal right here. Got one contract left on here. Now, if you didn't, the EMD, for instance, if you didn't, this was an aggressive entry, uh, granted, but you had a little shelf here, and I put this little consolidation box here, and it paused right here on EMD. See this little swing right here, just under 66? See how it punched up through this uh, pivot reverse, 2 eighths pivot at 64.80, and then consolidated right in here? See how it had a little, little pocket of consolidation? This gave you a little bit of time. This is basically from about 7.10 till about almost 7.30. It just kind of sat here for about like 10, 15 minutes and then punched up through it. So if you didn't get in from lower levels, this was an excellent entry right here, through just a couple ticks under 66. Same thing happened with, uh, with, with uh, the Russell over here. See how you were putting in a series of lower highs and lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, and then it punched up through it, and then it kind of sat here for a little while. See how it just kind of sat right there in this little box? And if you didn't get in here, you had a couple other chances to, to get long on TF because you had another consolidation pocket kind of right around this 3 eighths pivot right here. See how it punched up? This was actually the trend reversal right here, right here. It's punched up, pulled back, punched up, took it out. And this would have been another good entry here, 24, uh, 24.50. Anywhere right in here was a good entry. Uh, you could have put your line trader right there. Um, you know, you could have any manner of way to get in limit order, market order, and of course you'd be trailing your stop right now on, on these. Now if you look at a longer chart, this is what I was saying about EMD. This is what I was saying about EMD. See, look at this 16 range chart here. Hold, let me drag it over. This is a swing high from the other day. Remember I was saying 71.50 right here? Let me drag this over. Hold on a second. So let's see if I can show this. Of course, you see it's been in a strong uptrend. Uh, you know, all the equities have just been in a monster uptrend move here. And then we've been kind of consolidating for a couple of days. And then you see this swing high? This is actually from February 3rd right here. Right there. Just hitting it. That's why I was saying if you're long from lower levels, anywhere up here, if you're not going to trail a stop, I've already cashed some out. Uh, so I already banked some coin up here. And just trailing the stop on the last one, but do you see how the, see the resistance level? So you know you're gonna be asking yourself how much further could this really run? It's already run like 80 ticks off the bottom. Now, I did want to show one other chart. Um, the YM reversal that that Gary traded uh, was very similar to these two. Let me show it. Drag that from another screen. Hold on a second. Is the 16 range off the screen now? Yes. You see the regular charts? Yes. Okay. All right. Let me. This is what Gary was trading. He was trading the YM here, and um, actually YM, if you recall, led all the equities down uh, and did a little double bottom right around seven o'clock, just a few minutes after seven o'clock, right in here. He did a little double bottom. I don't know if you can see the YM chart. Do you see it right now? Yes. Yeah. We even called that. Uh, you know, very conservative right there. That that had hit that bottom too. So be extremely careful if it goes back in the box. Here's your 7 o'clock right here. Uh, here's the open of the market, 6.30. Rolled over, had a beautiful short. Um, broke down, nice short. Probably stopped you out here. If it didn't, you had this double bottom. And then here's your reversal right here. You can see that the trend change actually occurred as it came up through the 2 eighths pivot at 7.54, taking that out to the upside. And like the other uh, equities, you did have a little pause here. If you didn't get in from these lower levels, you see a little pause here at the top of the trading range pivot at 5 eighths. About the same time, 7.10 to about 7.30, you had this little kind of swing level here. See the swing? And then, then it just powered right through it, right here. So if you missed any kind of entry down here, it was okay because you had plenty of time to get in right here. Here's another entry right over here. See how it blasted right through that pivot? And up you went. 
And now you're the extreme overbought 2.8. See how we're kind of consolidating up here, just like the other equities? And I think we're topping out. In fact, I think this trade might stop out here on the Russell. Just a few more ticks. Now, if you were aggressive on this, you would, t you would drag this stop. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave it where it is. But you would drag that stop right up here. Same with, uh, same with the MD. You can get very aggressive and take it up to 97.10. So that's what we look for. You know, a lot of times at 7 o'clock you get those trend reversals. It just, uh, it just seems to be the sweet spot of when a market, well, you get one of two things. You either get trend continuation. In other words, if the market's selling off like it was this morning. Let me scrunch this down so I can get them all on here. You know, you get, like a, you get a pullback. Uh, up into a resistance area, for instance, uh, and, and, and then it rolls over and breaks down. That would be trend continu continuation at 7 a.m. Pacific. Or you get a, a reversal, in this case, you know, double bottom on YM, and up she went, same with the Russell, same with the MD. That's really when a lot of trades set up on the equities, right around 7 Pacific. So, you know, if you don't feel like you want to chase the markets around right at the open, I know a lot of traders are very nervous trading that open at 630. You know, they feel like you're getting kind of chopped up in that first half an hour. You can kind of just relax a little bit if you want to, knowing that normally around 7 a.m. you're going to get some kind of move. You're going to get some kind of move. All right, well, that's all I had to show here. Um, I did record this.